What Christmas gift do I want? What Christmas gift am I looking for? Muff Gel Christmas is not for another nine months. You piece of shit! Shut your mouth! Merry Christmas! I want that and I desire that. I need that. I'm dreaming about that. Whoa, there's just one small problem. And it's a big one. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? Oh god. Oh god, we're really finished. We're actually really finished. <laughs> We're really, we're, we're done. We're done out here, bros. Okay, I can't afford this card. It would be great if I could pack him. <laughs> we like those! Oh my, oh my, oh my God. Very strong physique. Ah! I swear you'll never see anything like this ever again! I mean, for God's sakes, I came! Bruh. Are you struggling to win on FIFA because your team is really bad? Shocking, dreadful, no quality. Do you need coins for a cheeky new team? I need it! You can head over to u7buy.com for cheap, fast and reliable coins. You can use the link in the description, use code Magell and get a 6% discount. <laughs> Alright boys and girls, today is going to be a very, very cheeky day, okay? Today we're going to be checking out a card that I did not think I would be reviewing today, okay? And that is an understatement. That man, of course, being Ronald Koeman, lads, and you, you guys should have seen my face when I packed this card, okay? I wasn't recording because, I mean, I just wasn't expecting to pack anything, let alone an icon. And when I saw it, I was like, wait, what? Is that, you know, because at first I thought it was just a regular fuck birthday, but I was like, no, no, hold on a minute, the colours are different, oh shit, it's an icon. And of course, Ronald Koeman came out, I'm like, holy fuck, man, what, what's going on here? And for those of you wondering, you know, what pack it was, and was it tradable and stuff like that? Basically, lads, it was one of the objective. Uh, I think. Let me try and find it. Actually, it's pretty easier. I just show you. So we literally got them out of this pack right here, boys and girls. Okay, the Centurion Century of Winds. Okay, I've been doing a lot of squad battles lately. Obviously, and there's a lot of objectives going on right now. So I was just grinding away, lads. You know, I was trying to get the Jesse Lingard objective because that was going to be the video today. I was going to do a Lingardinho episode. And yeah, we got our hundredth win, and I was like, okay, we got ourselves a good pack here. And you know, I'm just expecting to get some good fodder. But yeah, an icon popped out, and it was Ronald Koeman. I honestly couldn't believe it. So, yeah, I'd say I'm happy with that, boys. Girls is an absolute understatement, okay? I mean, that, that that's like one of my best pack pulls this year, easily. Yeah, boys and girls, let's show you this team that I've put together, okay? Overall, I think it is absolutely cheeky. The first thing you'll probably notice with this team, lads, is that, of course, Kuman is in the centre-back position. He does not have any alternate positions, which I kind of find a little bit weird. Like, I feel like he should at least have a few midfield options. But yeah, obviously, you guys know I don't want to play this card as a centre-back. I mean, look at the state of the guy's shooting, okay? This card is not playing defence today. I want this man as striker, lads, okay? So this is how we're going to be playing in-game, okay? We're going to have him up front with Mario Gomez. I've dropped Perisic down into left-back position. Obviously, Maldini will be starting there. We've got Lingard. And Rashford on the wings there, lads. And of course, that's going to help me get the Alessandrini objective done. At the same time, I also really want to see if this Lingardinho is a goat. And the rest of the team is pretty much as you would expect, lads. So, uh, yeah, pretty cheeky team if I don't say so myself. But yeah, let's take a look at the in games of this card, then, boys. Okay, starting off, we've got 5 foot 11 high medium work rates, 3 star, 5 star. Now, you look at that, and uh, that doesn't really exactly scream centre back. So, I mean, in terms of the height, like, obviously, he's not the tallest centre back in the world. There are much taller centre backs in the game. The work rates are definitely not defensive. You know, high medium work rates is not really what you want in the back. And then the 5 star weak foot is just completely wasted if, you know if you're going to use this card as a defender you want that to be shooting with but then we go over to the pace lads and of course 80 pace is it's okay it's nothing ridiculous but it's not you know, it's definitely not bad then we come over to the really juicy stuff boys and girls look at the state of that shooting okay especially when you remember that this card is a center back man the guy's got 99 shot power and 95 long shots i am going to be cracking long shots today passing here lads is utterly ridiculous okay you got 98 long passing which is just mad i mean that's crazy you got 98 free kicks which are pretty amazing as well well. And then the dribbling is, I mean, it's definitely not the best in the world. But again, remember that this card is a centre back. Like, he's not supposed to have, like, you know, super meta dribbling. So we just have to accept this. But yeah, the composure's pretty good. The reactions are really good. And yeah, if you give it a little boost with a chem style, it's workable. And then the defending stats, lads, and, and it's really good, okay? I mean, you definitely could play this card as a centre back if you wanted, you know, with that defending. Oh my god, it's amazing. And the physical stats, lads, are really, really solid. Okay, you got 87 stamina, strength, and aggression there with 86 jumping. So yeah, just really good stuff. Unfortunately, no crazy player traits here. I mean, an outside of foot trait or a finesse shot trait would have been amazing. But yeah, I mean, overall, boys and girls, I I mean, this card looks so fun, man. I, I honestly, this is the most excited I've been for a while in terms of reviewing a card because there's not many cards in the game that are like this. And the fact that I packed him untradeable when I just didn't expect to get anything from that pack that was really super usable. I mean, that's crazy to me. And yeah, I mean, the five star week for the long shots, boys, I cannot wait for this. This is going to be sick. Like, this is going to be one of the most fun episodes ever. But yeah, we wasted enough time, lads. Let's jump straight into things. 
things okay hopefully get some wins so they get some goals all that good stuff all right then boys jump into game number one <laughs> Oh boys, I'm a little bit open here. Could get exposed. Oh fuck man, how's that gone for his legs? He's gonna one no up. He's gone one no up. That is an absolutely shocking start. That defending was horrific. And look, that's a foul! Oh, I think he might get sent off for that, boys. That was a dodgy tackle. He is getting a red card for that. Jesus Christ, mate. That was a shocking tackle. Going away. What a chance. Ronald Koeman. No, oh, he has blasted that in, boys. Did you see that shot power? Not that I expected any different, boys. The guy has 99 shot power, I think. I think it's 99. It's either 99 or 95, or he's got 99 long shots or 95. I can't fucking remember. Oh, wait, it's really high. That's, that's, that's the point I'm trying to make here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the? No, hold on a minute, boys. What the fuck? Why did my internet have to do that then? I could do nothing about it. Oh, over top that. Come on, Ronald. On the left foot. Oh, boys, the guy's shot power just puts it in the net. Like, he hits it so hard, the keepers can't even react. Not to mention the fact that he's got two left foot goals here, lads. And, of course, if he didn't have that five-star weak foot, these are probably not going in, you know, because I think he has a three-star weak foot normally. Oh, he's going away really poorly. Good boy, Lingardinho. Doing a bit of the Lingardinho techers. I'm still going. I want to go all the way with Lingardinho. Oh my goodness, mate. This is just, uh, this is bullying. That goal was bullying. Do not bully people. Oh, he, he's rage quit, boys. That, that come out of nowhere. We only just hit half time and he decided to leave. But hey, listen, I'm not going to complain, lads, okay? A cheeky little win is a cheeky little win, okay? And I'll definitely take that because you know, normally I lose my first game. So yeah, I'll take a win. So yeah, let's jump into game number two. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking cunt. That's okay. What was that all about? That's one nil. That's one nil. Shit. Shut the fuck up. Oh, he's, this guy's quite good, man. He's like, we're only 14 minutes in. He is dicking me up right now. I need to get my fucking crap together, man. He is, this guy will swore to me if I'm not careful. Boys, like this, I, 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 I might have to quit this one, boys and girls. Like this guy is clearly, he's clearly quite fucking good, and I can already smell that shut the fuck up song playing right now. The fuck more than anything that I've ever fucked before. If he goes one more goal, I, I might have to leave, boys. This is, I mean, this is, this is bad. What the fuck was that? Why did he just leave it? All right, yeah, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Fuck, man. Lads, I'm not even being funny here. Like, what? That is, we are in the second minute, and I've just conceded one of the most. <coughs> oh, Koeman. oh, he's made a great run. Please be onside. I think he is. He moved his goalie so much, and I still didn't notice it. How did I not notice that? Inside. Nice. Mario Gomez. Oh, this is cheeky. Mario Gomez, the man that doesn't miss, and he adds another one to that tally because he doesn't miss. God damn it, I love Mario Gomez. He's just a goat. I fucking love him. <laughs> He's a strange one, isn't he? Over top it. Oh, I've lagged again, but it should be alright. I don't know why I hit that on the volley. There was no need for it, but because it's Ronald Koeman, I want to score like special kind of goals, you know, when I could have just scored a normal goal there and we would be winning. Inside. Okay, let's go. Yeah, play Kuman. Come on, Kuman, lad. What an opportunity. Will he bury it? Oh, come on, keeper. Let that go in. You know, you, you don't have to tell anyone. Just, just let it go in. Slide. All right. What was wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. That was a cracking tackle. Yeah, and through. Come on. Come on, Jay Lings. What an opportunity this is. I don't know if he's got a good weak foot or if it's the skill moves that got upgraded. I hope it's weak foot. It's probably not weak foot, is it? No, 
Fuck off! I do not deserve to be losing this game, boys. I have been all over him for the majority of the game. He started this game well, but I have been on top sin. I'm making this sound dirty. Come on, Koeman. Ref. That's right, we'll play on. Good boy, Koeman. He's done well. He's done brilliantly. What a finish that is, man. What an absolute blast into that top corner. And one thing I will say about this card, lads, he feels way faster than 80 pace. Look at the way he is absolutely destroying that guy's defense. Ooh, it smells like someone's wrong. Yeah, and then Kuman. Oh my word. Oh my god, I actually thought that went in. Nice Lingardinho. And then play him again. Beautiful. Cross over to Kuman. Brilliant cross from Lingardinho! Oh, I love it. I fucking love it. Koopman, you are such a good finisher! Shit. Come on, Cordoba. Oh, he's got me, and he? He hasn't! He's fucked the part. Oh, so have I! I think I've gone, I've gone away with it. I don't know how. Okay, nice, Rashford. I like that. I like that a lot. That is brilliant! No, Mario Gomez, you, you're not supposed to be miss. You're not allowed to miss. That's a banging pass into Lingardinho. What an opportunity this is. I've got options left and right. I'm going near Poe. Oh, I should have fucking lost it. Oh, fuck, man, that's poor. I don't like it. I'm scared. Oh, I've actually defended that pretty well. Well, this is insane. That's impossible! And that is the end of that, boys and girls. We managed to get that win. It was a close game for sure, but we did get the win. Big boy Kuman on fire with an absolute couple of beauties. And uh, yeah, really good win there, boys. Really good stuff. So yeah, I'll jump into one more game. Let's hopefully we can get some more goals with Kuman. I would really like to score a long shot because I don't think I've scored a long shot with him yet. And obviously, you know, with this card, you've got to get a long shot. You know, that's a, that's a must in a, in a Kuman episode. So yeah, let's jump into game number four. <laughs> Yeah, play. Ray ball into Ronald. Brilliant touch from Ronald. Oh, I think it's long shot time, boys. No, 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 I'm le I can't. No, that's that that that's cannot be fucking legal. Oh, fuck, this is bad. Don't let him get one on Michelle. What a save! No fucking way! Get it out! Good hold up there, play from from Gomez and Kuman. Fuck it, I'm chipping. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. Look at that run from Ronald Koeman. Come on, come on, Koeman. Oh my god, he is a genius. He is a fucking genius, man. The goat of strikers right now. Oh my god. Lads, I actually think I would have died if that had gone in. It's a pretty well worked goal. I can't even really moan at it because it was so nice. Right before the end of the half as well, which is really annoying. Right, Magel, don't fucking bottle it, I swear, man. We've been so dominant. Do not fucking bottle it. And about two. I think he might be offside. Or not. Or, or not. And of course, Mario Gomez, he ain't going to miss, boys. You got, he ain't got to worry about that with Mario Gomez. Yeah, play, play Lingard. Lingardinho. Oh, he's brought his goalie off. Why am I fucking getting baited by that? Like, I'm actually dumb. What the fuck? Nah, nah, hold on a minute, boys. What was that fucking goal? What was that touch from Diaby? I've never seen anything like that before. That was madness. Are we over top that? Oh, Mario Gomez, man. Get me another goal, please. I freaking need it as well. He don't miss. Fuck. Uh, no, he's done. Oh, Mitchell, please, man. For the love of all that is holy, can we just not? I repeat, can we not bottle it? Like, please, let me just win this game. What? What the hell? 
That's what the fuck just happened now. Did he really just quit? Like, he had me on the ropes there. There's no way that guy would have quit, surely. He must have got a DC there, boys. That's the only one. I better not. Maybe, maybe I got the DC. No, it's giving me the win, boys. That must have been him. Thank God. For a second, I thought I DC. I was about to cry. But yeah, four gold answers. That's an absolutely amazing way to end the episode. Okay, then, boys and girls. Let's talk about this absolute legend that is Ronald Koeman. I mean, what is the, like, what can I even talk about with this guy? It's too much to talk about with this one. I guess we'll just start off with the goals here, boys, okay? This COD got six goals, okay? And bear in mind, this COD is a centre-back, okay? Playing at striker, he got six goals. To put that into perspective, I got five goals with Jared Muller's prime icon, okay? Who's actually a striker and a good one at that. So the fact that Koeman outscored him despite being a centre-back tells you how good this card is, okay? I mean, like, that's amazing in my opinion. And not to mention the fact that they weren't just, like, tap-ins, boys, okay? This card didn't score, like, normal goals. Every goal he hit was just, like, it was a work of art, the way he would power it in. I mean, look at the state of this goal here, boys, okay? This is the, I mean, this is the kind of goals he was scoring. I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm hitting it. Look at it. That's outrageous. But in terms of the other stuff I liked about this card, lads, I found his pace surprisingly good, okay? He did not feel like he had 80 pace. He didn't feel like he had, like, 99 pace or anything, but he was actually beating defenders. He genuinely felt, like, pretty quick to me, and his dribbling was super good as well. I liked his dribbling. Again, not super meta or anything like that, but it was actually pretty good. But yeah, overall, boys and girls, I absolutely love this card as a striker, okay? And I just can't wait to use this card as a centre mid now, okay? I'm going to be partnering him up with the bald head. I mean, these two in midfield, they are going to cause some damage from long shots. It's going to be nuts. So I can't wait to jump into some fuck champions with him, boys. I mean, he's going to be amazing, and I'm just so happy I packed him. It just, it come out of nowhere. I did not expect this episode to be happening today, and I just had a blast with him, man. He was so fun. So yeah, I'm going to run it through the cheeky meter, lads. Of course I'm going to give this card a 10 out of 10. I mean, he's a literal centre-back that can play striker. I mean, of course that, that, that's a 10 out of 10. Like, it's a no-brainer, man. They, this card is amazingly good, and if you somehow have the coins for him, or if you're lucky like me and can pack him, then you've got to use him, man, because he's a god. But yeah, I'm going to call it there, boys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you guys next one. All right, peace.